bring them back. Welcome back to Defending Football. It's my birthday, but yet I'm still making content for you guys. Since it is my birthday, I wanted to cover a topic that I really enjoy, and that is expansion. Greg Williams on his podcast recently stated the UFL has plans for four new teams in 2025. If this season goes well, that might be a little far-fetched to hear, but it got me thinking, what if the UFL had a 20-team league? So I decided to bring back spring football teams up until 20 teams to create the best spring football league we could imagine. Obviously, you have the eight teams that are in the league right now. You have the DC Defenders, St. Louis Battlehawks, San Antonio Brahmas, Arlington Renegades, and the Birmingham Stallions, Houston Roughnecks, Michigan Panthers, and Memphis Showboats. So those eight teams are already in the league, so we're going to have to add 12 more teams. So obviously, this is all my opinion. None of this is confirmed, but this is what I would do if I was running the league. The first team I would bring back before anyone else would be the Seattle Sea Dragons. I know travel costs aren't great going into Seattle, but in this scenario, I have infinite money and infinite power. So we're going to bring back the Seattle Sea Dragons. Fantastic uniforms, awesome fan base, and as a Defenders fan, we beat them all the time, but I still love the Dragons. And I feel like if you expand, you need to bring them back. The very next team we're going to bring back is from the USFL side is the New Orleans Breakers. Had a very good fan base in the USFL and their uniforms are pretty cool as well. We could use another blue team in the UFL. I feel like the Breakers are a great choice to get some support in New Orleans. And I know Breakers fans would be happy that they're coming back. Next up, I'm bringing back the New Jersey Generals. They are not going to be a New York based team though. They're going to be Jersey exclusively. But bringing back the Generals, I think it's just such a historic franchise that you have to bring that one back. Although I would lean more into the navy color scheme than the red color scheme, just because there's so many red teams. But if you modify the uniforms and update them a lot, they would be a pretty cool team to root for in the New Jersey area. So I think the New Jersey Generals would be a great fit to throw on the East Coast right next to the New York Guardians. I know the Guardians moved to Orlando in 2023, but bring them back to New York where they belong and give them their old logo back. That logo was sweet, changed their colors back to black and red. So you're gonna have a rivalry, New York versus New Jersey right there. And something about the Guardians is just super nostalgic to me, probably because it was in the 2020 league, as the Guardian is technically a gargoyle, so it makes way more sense for them to be in New York. USFL fans, yes, Pittsburgh Maulers are back. I would bring back the Pittsburgh Maulers, keep them black and gold, and they are gonna run the state of Pennsylvania the Maulers made the championship last year in the USFL, and I feel like they deserve to come back. Definitely a hard-nosed type team that Pittsburgh will embrace and will love. I think Heinz Ward is the perfect coach to take over the Pittsburgh Maulers. Moving on, we're going down south, Orlando Vipers. So the Vipers in 2020 were Tampa Bay. We're moving them a little bit over to Orlando, still in Florida. Obviously, I piecemealed a little bit of their logo together here. Don't know what it would be, but this is my general idea. We got to have a snake as a logo. Stop with the V. You can come up with something. I like the two-tone green look from the Vipers. So we're bringing that back, but we're cutting out the yellow. The yellow is nasty. And I think they would work a lot better in Orlando instead of Tampa Bay. And a team I personally really liked in the 2020 XFL was the LA Wildcats. We're moving them to Oakland. They're gonna be the Oakland Wildcats playing in the Coliseum. Raiders fans can still wear black and they can support this team. I think the Wildcats would just work out way better in Oakland where they're starving for football instead of LA where no one really cares. I think the Wildcats are a great team name. Obviously you're gonna have to change their logo, but their color scheme is sweet and their uniforms are awesome as well. Definitely want the Wildcats back. Next, we're gonna bring back a USFL team from a long time ago, the Denver Gold. I think a team in Denver would be super useful as there's already a built-in NFL fan base there and their football has not been very good as of late. So they'll probably be turning to the UFL, hoping for a little more success than the Broncos are giving them. But the Denver Gold were a team back in the 80s, I believe. So bringing them back makes a lot of sense. You don't really have to do anything crazy. Now, I know everyone wanted a Canton team in the USFL as there was a hub there and they had the championship there. So you know what? We're going to give you a team there. We're going to bring back the Atlanta Legends from the AAF and we're going to move them to Canton. The Canton Legends. Because Canton is the birthplace of American football and that is where the Hall of Fame is, the Legends. I mean, it makes so much sense to me to bring this team back. 
You can have Bengals fans and Browns fans hopping on the bandwagon to be Canton Legends fans. I did love some of my AAF team, so we're bringing another one back, the Birmingham Iron. Only thing is, we can't put them in Birmingham because of the Stallions. We're going to move them to Baltimore, the Baltimore Iron. Mostly because of the color scheme, I feel like it would work very well. Plus, you don't really have to change the logo, you still have the B. That was my personal favorite team in the AAF, and I hated to see them go, so I definitely had to bring them back somewhere. Ravens fans love wearing black. I feel like it all works out there. Next up is a little different. We're going back to the USFL. The Chicago Blitz, back in the day, we're moving them. We're not going to Chicago. We're going to Buffalo. I don't know why Spring Leagues have not went to Buffalo yet. I understand it is a small market, but the fans are extremely passionate. And if you make them red, white, and blue, come on, they're showing up. I live in Western New York, and as a Bills fan, I'm telling you, I would buy season tickets and still stay a Defenders fan. I wouldn't even care. The Buffalo Blitz would be a crazy team, and it would be a fan base that would rival the St. Louis Battlehawks and DC Defenders. You'll get to see Buffalo in warm weather instead of cold weather all the time. They definitely need to consider this. And then the last team that I am adding to the United Football League is the Omaha Nighthawks. Back before this United Football League, there was another United Football League, believe it or not. They played around the 2012 time frame, and they actually played a few seasons, and the Omaha Nighthawks were the most popular team in the league, it seems like. And I think that's the one team from that league that I would want to add to the new UFL. So we're bringing them back, the Omaha Nighthawks, playing in the United Football League for the second time. If I was a billionaire and I controlled the UFL, this is what I would do with those 20 teams. We're going to split them up into two different conferences, just as we have now, the XFL Conference and the USFL Conference. We're going to have four separate divisions, the Western, Southern, Northern, and Eastern divisions. In the Western division, you have the Seattle Sea Dragons, Oakland Wildcats, Denver Gold, Omaha Nighthawks, and the St. Louis Battlehawks. So you kind of have Battle of the Nest right there in the Western division, great rivalries. And that division is under the XFL Conference. The Southern division is also XFL, and it is going to be the Arlington Renegades, the Houston Roughnecks, San Antonio Brahmas, New Orleans Breakers, and the Orlando Vipers. So Texas is pretty set in the UFL. And then the Northern Division in the USFL Conference, you have the Michigan Panthers, Canton Legends, Memphis Showboats, Birmingham Stallions, and Pittsburgh Maulers. That is like the most USFL Conference I have ever seen. And it would create great rivalries between these teams here. And then you have the Eastern Division where the Buffalo Blitz, New York Guardians, New Jersey Generals, Baltimore Iron, and the DC Defenders would reside. I feel like the Eastern Division might have the best rivalries in the entire league, but I honestly love talking about this expansion stuff. And one of my favorite parts was actually creating the map. So as you guys can see, starting left to right, you got you got the Sea Dragons up there, you got Wildcats down below, then you got Denver Gold, Omaha Nighthawks, right next to the Battlehawks, huge rivalry right there. You got Renegades, Brahmas, Roughnecks, all in there with the Breakers and Vipers there as well. Then you got Stallions, Showboats, Legends, Panthers, Maulers, all in that general area. And then you have the entire Northern East Coast, Defenders, Iron Generals, Guardians, and Blitz. I feel like because I made the divisions based on location on the map, one part of the United States is going to win the UFL championship every year. Whether it's South, West, East, North, doesn't matter. This would be my pick for the 20 teams in the UFL. Of course, give me your opinions down below. And as my birthday present, subscribe to the channel. Come on. So I'm going to get out of here. And for the love of football, defend football, baby.